Demonstrations that initially started peacefully continued into early Thursday with scenes like this. <coughs> Multiple fires set. Stores looted. This Target department store emptied of stock. And a police station pelted with projectiles by hundreds enraged by the death of George Floyd police at times using tear gas to disperse the crowds. Sure, we've had, we've had a number of fires set, we've had a, uh, a good deal, a good amount of looting, or a bad amount of looting actually, um, and, uh, and uh, just widespread civil disobedience. And it's unfortunate, it's sad. If people are there, truly there, to honor the memory of the decedent and the, and the family, this isn't how you do it. This is the widely circulated video of Floyd, already handcuffed for a non-violent charge and held down for around 10 minutes with a knee to the back of his head. You can hear his cries for help and see how they were ignored. I can breathe. Please, the name of the this fatal encounter again stirring a national outcry. The officers immediately fired as the FBI and Justice Department opened an investigation into the incident. I certainly have said publicly as well that uh, what I observed, those actions uh, from those former four uh, officers in no way reflect uh, the values and the vision uh, and the culture that I want to change here with the Minneapolis Police Department, and that so many of our men and women work each and every day to try to build those relationships of trust. As pressure builds on the officers to be charged. Well, I'm calling on Hennepin County Attorney Mike Freeman to act on the evidence before him. I'm calling on him to charge the arresting officer in this case. We are not talking about a split-second decision that was made incorrectly. There's somewhere around 300 seconds in those five minutes, every one of which the officer could have turned back, every second of which he could have removed his knee from George Floyd's neck. President Trump on Twitter called Floyd's death very sad and tragic, adding that he'd asked for the investigation to be expedited, promising that justice would be served. George Floyd's death is just the latest in a string of violent incidents against black people in the United States, following the recent shooting by two white suspects of Armand Arbery in Georgia while he was out for a jog. Those two suspects face felony murder charges. But these incidents stir up memories of Trayvon Martin in Florida in 2012, to Eric Garner in New York, whose dying words in 2014 echoed those of George Floyd's in 2020. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Sherwin Briceby's SABC News, New York.